let's say we have a box of mass M sitting on an inclined plane or ramp and let's say that there's friction between the box and the ramp and we want to push this box up the ramp with a force that we exert parallel to the ramp such that it ends up accelerating at the rate of 2 meters per second squared. So we're going to say that the acceleration we want is 2 meters per second squared. Also we're going to say that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. Uh, let's say that the mass of the box, M, is equal to 5 kilograms. And let's say the angle theta is equal to 45 degrees. Could be anything, but let's say it's 45 degrees. And that the coefficient of friction, mu, is equal to 0 0.3. And let's call the force that we exert parallel to the plane like this, let's call that P for push. So P is equal to, well, that's what we want to find out. So how are we going to set this up? Let's look at the forces acting on the mass and then apply Newton's second law. So here they are. Force due to gravity is acting down this way. And I'm going to write that as Mg and it has components that are parallel and perpendicular to the ramp. Here's the perpendicular one. This is angle theta also, by the way. That makes the parallel component mg times sine theta, and the perpendicular component is mg times cosine theta. The reason that's important is because the force due to gravity pushing down on the plane perpendicular to it causes the plane to push back with a force equal to that, which we call the normal force, F normal. And F normal is equal to mg cosine theta. The force due to friction is going to oppose the motion as we push in this direction. Friction is going to push back in this direction. And I'm just going to represent that by this little vector F right here, like that. Force due to friction is just equal to mu, the coefficient of friction, times the normal force. So if we want to write an equation that represents Newton's second law, we look at the net force acting on M, and we're particularly, in, particularly interested in the net force parallel to the plane. We know that these two forces are balanced because nothing's happening in this direction. So the force causing it to accelerate up the plane, P minus the two downward forces, which are F and mg sine theta have to be equal to ma. That's the Newton's second law. F net equals ma. And remember what we want here is p. So I'm just going to rewrite this equation as p is equal to ma plus mg sine theta plus the frictional force, but I'm going to use this for the frictional force, these two, and write the frictional force as mu times the normal force, which is mg cosine theta. I'm going to do a little bit of algebra here, just factor out a couple of things to make this a little simpler. This is equal to m times a plus, and I'm going to factor a g out of these two terms, and write this as g times sine theta plus mu cosine theta. And if I want to plug in the numbers, m was 5 kilograms, 
a is 2 meters per second squared plus g which is 9.81 meters per second squared times the sine of 45 degrees plus mu which is 0 0.3 times the cosine of 45 degrees and when you put all that in the calculator you get that P let's see I'm going to push it up a little bit so you can see it you get that P is approximately equal to 55 newtons and that's your answer it's actually 55.09 approximately close enough to P equals 55 newtons